this is drive through therapy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Ladies, I'm single, and I have been mingling. <laughs> Mr. Send it. All right. So we're here to interview Mr. Bobby today. How you doing, man? <laughs> tell tell us about it. Stop, Stop joking. Stop yeah. joking. Stop. Yeah. Let's yeah. actually get to it. Right, you can take the serious one. I'm That's trying to be, man. That's the bad boy in the band. Oh. We know bad boys don't joke. He's got a Facts. piercing and a tattoo. We'll get started ladies. someday. Yeah. All right. Bobby, we're going to hand over the reins to you now. Okay, appreciate it. Please. 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 Hello, I am Bobby Moore. You can pick out which one of these right here is Scott Thomas. This is East Tennessee music scene on the rise. Again, we are here at the beautiful open chord. Come out and... Support this venue, please. Today we're sitting down with Drive Through Therapy. Good luck, is all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, starting stage left, would you tell us a little bit about yourselves, your names? And um, my name's Andy, and uh, I like hot wings and I love Hooters. <laughs> I like going to Hooters. We went to Hooters for Father's Day, so. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Hey, what do you play in the band? Oh, guitar. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was telling a fun fact, man. I honestly didn't think about that. I play guitar and I sing. Uh, yeah, my, my name is uh, Matthew Ryan Johnston. Got to put the R in there. You got to make sure that's there. If you can check me out on Spotify. I have my own solo stuff. <laughs> but uh, uh, I play with Drive to Therapy. I play guitar and I sing and I like taking long walks on the beach and I could be your next dream man. Did you wink? Because I winked after you said that. Well, maybe this guy. Okay. Keep going. Next. <laughs> I'm JT Coleman. Uh, I play bass. A small one? Yeah, a really small <laughs> bass. <laughs> no, I play music. <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Fabio, but it's actually it's actually Ryan Flynn. Uh, I play I play drums and drive through therapy. Uh, I love Jesus, and Jesus loves you. All right. <laughs> So where, where have you guys been playing out lately? Uh, okay, so we've been playing several places. Uh, the main spot we've been playing is like this like spot down in like downtown Knox off a of 12th Street called the Jungle, the jungle. where a bunch of kids like mm. literally go like like crazy. It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's probably one of the weirdest things. You think it's like a like, basement in you? You think in like like Beatles like cavern like like club kind of stuff? That's pretty much what it is. There's like a hundred like yeah. kids crammed packed into this like small little venue. It's like weird. That's so, pretty cool though. Yeah. I like that. Shout it's out to good pipes. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out to Pipes. Pipes, pipes the band. Pipes the they band. They live there. They live there. They're awesome, man. <laughs> so how long have you guys been together as a group? Six months? Yeah, six months, man. It's like <laughs> yeah. it's been like more of kind of like a fast paced kind of thing. We kinda yeah. just went into it and uh, I came back from like Nashville. I've been playing with a group up there and uh, hit up Andy and JT. We've been playing since like high school with each other but never really like solidified anything. Yeah. And then I went to seeking musicians in Knoxville and you know this <laughs> This little cutie popped up on my radar, playing some like <laughs> say, playing some prog metal, and you know I was figuring maybe we could change him up a little bit, make him a little rock and roll boy, and we did. Sure. We did. We they did. did. They did. They did. We did. I did. I, I did. did. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, uh, uh, just watching you guys interact with each other, you'd think you'd known each other since you were that tall. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah it's the best thing is like we're all just a bunch of best friends playing music that we love. Like yeah, it's it's we're awesome. just having fun with it. <laughs> like it's a good time, man. <laughs> oh, you guys do mainly uh, originals. Covers, yeah. just yep. mainly yeah, we hate covers. You hate covers? Yeah. <laughs> no, but we're yeah. starting to do cover gigs though. Dude, I hate we're, covers. We're, <laughs> I freaking hate. Covers. We've been we've been learning some just to you know for the for the three hour gigs and fill some time. Yeah. But the hope is to eventually write enough to hold down three hours with just our own stuff. I guess. Yes. Yeah. We, we have been playing some like higher paced gigs that aren't just like you know in basements because we did play like the bird house and we hated it. It was awful. No, it was yeah, awful. it was not a fun gig. Like talk about like 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 you know you have like no one really talks about this, but there's like bad gigs and like afterwards like it was like so frustrating. And literally like Ryan was like was, like I'm gonna quit, bro. I'm gonna quit. And I'm like and I was, like, I was like, like no, bro, you're like, can't no, you're quit. Not, no, I was not ready. gonna quit, dude. And you're then they not. paid me, and I was like, all right, well you're paying me, so yeah. So, <laughs> that had actually happened, but. <laughs> But so we did that, and we've been planning some stuff, and like we got like some stuff in Murfreesboro that's probably coming up in the next few months. We recently went up there and like recorded an album, so that should be coming out like yeah. next, like next like March. We have a single out right now. We've been like so we've been like in the six months that we've been together, like I've like been in bands that it's been like we we were playing for like two years, and we've like progressed at like such a fast rate that it's like it's just it's it's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Like. It's, it's awesome, awesome because like yeah. we've been me and him have been playing since we were like in seventh grade together 
And it's like, <laughs> it feels like it's all like led up to this moment, you know, where like we're ready to do it now. Yeah, you know? everything kind of clicked and just took off. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta put them down for me. Like. Put them down. Put the guns down. Stab him in the legs. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, we've always, like, me and him, like, we've talked about it so many times. We're like, we just want to do it. We just want to get our music out there and get people to, like, notice us and yeah. watch us play, you know? And it's like, we've been working so hard, like, since then, and now it's finally here. And, like, I'm just so excited about That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, are you guys planning on getting out of state to play or anything? Absolutely. Hopefully. Oh, Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. Our friend Kalen has a shout out. Okay. He has a bus, a school bus that he bought, and he tore out the back half seats, and he put beds back there, and he's put a furnace in it. That's so we're awesome. gonna go tour and party on that thing. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be a great time. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. Have, have you got any uh, upcoming shows? Uh, yeah, we do. We, 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 here's a plug. Hey, this section right here, put in Adidas commercial, put whatever you want. That's what we're plugging. <laughs> I do support Adidas. <laughs> July 19th, Jackson Square, late till eight. We're playing there. Then oh, we have another what? big boy get, yeah, we have. Eight. I thought the next one was. No, we have one on the 31st as well. Oh, so Crafters Brew, yeah, no Crafters Bridge. Brew, no yeah. Bridge. And we just played there last night, too. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So we're playing Crafters Brew, brew, with a brew on the 31st. We did it back. You're so cringy, dude. <laughs> But I embrace it, man. Are, you, are you guys this way on stage? I mean, just yeah, pretty interacting much. with the crowd. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. just we just love to have fun. That's that's great. I mean, it gets the crowd into it, and they'll remember that for the next show too. Like, I've got to go watch those crazy bastards. Yeah, <laughs> you know? nice. I just saw them last night, but I've got to go back tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you can never yeah, take yourself too seriously because if you oh, do, yeah. you're like, you're kind of a. A Fill in the blank. A weenie. A weenie. Yeah. yeah. A weenie. <laughs> Mega weenie. You got any like questions you want to ask us? And we can throw some questions your way right, That's too. fine. I mean, this is the easiest interview ever. All right. <laughs> I love them this way. Awesome. There's a lot less work for me when I'm drunk than not before. Probably. Like, <laughs> question for you, Bobby. So why 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 make a uh, like a like a, a music thing? Yeah, get get and defensive. Earn, like a music interview thing for uh, East Tennessee, bro. You think East Tennessee has like some profits in like the music business? You think that's gonna be the next thing? Actually, uh. I started out as a musician myself. Oh, really? What was your band called? And I sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was, I figured I'd get on this side of the camera and start, you know, this side of the curtain and start yeah. doing things. Yeah. I just, for me myself, I started seeing how hard as a musician it was to get in the, you know, venues and stuff yeah. like that. And mm, hard to get the reach out there. No. So when Scott offered me to start doing this right here, I was like, you know what? That's still helping the bands and getting them out there, putting money in their pockets, getting them on down the road, and you know, getting them. That's the awesome. I respect that's that. cool, man. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Thank you all. I have to get in there. <laughs> okay, and by the way, my, my first band was called uh, COK. COK. Was, yeah. Uh. It was Children of Corn. But, <laughs> that's but, awesome. Yeah, with a corn cover band uh, on their uh, first and second album. I played bass. <laughs> and, we just, yeah, that's what we wanted on the. I love it. Yeah. Fill in the blank yourself. You can spell yeah. that out. Yeah. We're not going to say it. See, you know okay. It. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> the child. <laughs> Bro. It was awesome. So, wow. what made you guys get into music? I mean, my dad. Start with Andy. Yeah, okay, okay, start with Andy. I'm okay. sorry. I just keep interjecting. Um, um, it was a combination of. Uh, Women and um, <laughs> Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> when I heard it, I was like, whoa, I need to learn how to play that. And then from there, it just kind of took off. Awesome. Uh, I would not disagree with the whole women thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a skinny, awkward man, and I really don't have anything to bring to the table. So I'm not going to be able to go kill some like little beast for you. You're not a I'll, provider. I'll, 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 I am the guy who's doing the cringe compilation underneath your window seal, singing you a song on the Skype, Skype calls. Late at night, the hear that douche who brings the acoustic to a party. Yeah, I've done that on several of the douches, and it's worked. <laughs> it's worked. Uh, my dad, chicks. Like, me and him used to play football in high school when we were like freshmen. We and then sucked. we realized, yeah, yeah we sucked at we football. Sucked. And we realized that like we would get all, like just as many or more girls more. playing in bands. Because we sucked. Yeah, because we were terrible at football. Form. Like, that was not us. So we started, like, we just dropped that and pursued this. <laughs> How about Johnny Depp over here? Johnny Depp. <laughs> Shavasana. Captain Jack Shavasana. Sparrow. Yeah. Oh, Shavasana. <laughs> what got you in a plane? Um, man, I think it started um, back like <laughs> two weeks before I was born. 
My, no joke. No joke. My mom, my mom was like ready to pop, and she got a doctor's note to take me to a, a Van Morrison concert. Oh. And so I, it probably started there, but yeah, then like, you, bro. no joke. Can you sing us Dude, a Van Morrison Dude, and it stoned song? me to my soul. It stoned, stoned me just dude. like going home. Yeah, stoned. Ooh, jelly roll, bro. Little, 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 yeah, got little Van Morrison. Um, hey. But she, she was always like, man, from day one, like if I wasn't playing music or singing to you, you were crying, and like I was always like keeping a beat and stuff. Um, so I guess it's just always, always been a love. It's kind of born and bred in you. Yeah. Yeah. Try to uh, do like a serious heartfelt one like Ryan did. We could actually have one of those. Instead. Yeah, let's, just, do, just, let's uh, do that. Just, let's do that. You want to do a serious one? Let's do a serious one just for them so they can edit. And well, mine was them. both. The oh, Led Zeppelin thing was true. All right. When I heard that, like for the first time, I was like, mine was completely serious. I was like eight, and I was like, what is that? I was like, what the hell? But what the heaven? Because it was stairway to heaven. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love <laughs> what the heaven. Mine was just kind of like my mom would drag me around on a sheet in the house when we didn't have any furniture because we were too poor to have furniture. And she would play the Bodines closer to free. And like I remember just hearing that he goes yeah at the very beginning and just like screaming into it. And I was just like I needed and, and just dragged me around. I was like everybody wants to live how they want to live. And then like she just dragged me around the house. And that like I remember just as a kid I would just like run around in circles till I fell up, fell down. She put on rumors, and then I discovered the Beatles. And that was when my life changed. Was like when I discovered the Beatles. That was pretty much when I was like I want to do this. That's cool. Yeah. That was depressing. Well, it, it's hard to even be serious <laughs> to talk to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Way to change the mood. Thanks, bro. Shut us all stuff. down. Yes. Wow. Just die. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying, by the way. Uh, it'll be oh, all right. I love it. I like it. <laughs> so, I don't even know what the asking about. Come up with the name. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. Uh, we didn't actually come up with a name. It, so, it was, it was Mike, right? Yeah. 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 So, our, our, our buddy Mike. Um, he was, I guess, like our first, our first producer. He did um, some production on like and some recordings on like the first song that we did. And, yeah. yeah. Singles on Spotify, all streaming platforms. There you go. I was going oh, yeah. to ask you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell her it came out July fourth on everything. Um, so everybody yeah. can find you guys on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, Instagram, Instagram. Instagram. It's all but, at Drive Through Therapy. But, but the through and drive through. You know how we actually got the name though? Oh yeah. yeah. So there's fifty. Chicken nuggets at Wendy's for ten dollars, right? Oh, do the nuggies. No one knows about this deal. They don't even advertise Shout it. Out they're to probably Wendy's. losing money. There's like one little spot on the and menu every that time, says it. And every time, every time we go out and we're partying and we're starving, we get those fifty nugs for ten bucks. Yeah. Dude, but and then we get therapy. twenty. Like we get, yeah. we spend twenty, so we get a hundred nugs and we split them between the four of us. <laughs> it's it's that drive-through therapy. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it came from. So so it's ding ding like, ding. He was talking about Wendy's you know, sometimes. sponsor us. He ate a lot of fast food. Yes. He yeah. just ate like a lot yeah. of fast food. It's like, you know, sometimes you just got to get that juicy hamburger, like <laughs> some, some therapy at the drive through Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like... I was there last night. God, yeah, I man. I mean, you know, it's late. You're hungry. Get a these. burger and fries. You get <laughs> we had BK earlier. I like to think there's like a, like a kind of a deeper meaning to it, though. Like a, a societal, like we're always trying to like get something quick, like get, get the drive through therapy, not actually like take the time to like get the help we need. Yeah. And so, and, and then part of that too, like being music, like music is, is like therapeutic like and can help people therapy. and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's a multifaceted thing. Like it's serious, but it's also not serious. And yeah. it's just... I don't know. I so, think it represents it as well. I think it represents Wendy's 50 chicken nuggets for $10. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because you see us like cutting up and everything, but when we write music, we actually all just get like super serious and just like do it. Like just come up with crazy stuff, man. But then like once we get done with that and we jam or whatever, we're just like goofy. And just yeah. So uh, do you guys uh, write as a group or does do just one of you? For the most part. They, these guys will come up with something and then like we'll all get together and be like, like Matt will show me this or Andy will show Matt that yeah. and then we all just kind of come together and like arrange how it is you know yeah. and make it better than it is <coughs> to start out off <laughs> how would you describe describe your music is it rock or rock and roll rock and roll yeah. <laughs> it like encompasses a lot of different eras so, like, you, know, so like, you know how like the, the drive through menu has a lot of options. Yeah. Like, so you guys say, do too? Yeah, we, we have do lots too. of options. Yeah, imagine, every song. Imagine, like, you have, like, we, yeah, we got like the Happy Meal. <coughs> we got the Happy We have like the Deluxe. Yeah. Definitely, also, I definitely think sandwich. that we have something for anybody who likes like in the ballpark of rock and roll. Yeah. 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 All yeah. the way from 60s to like 90s grunge. It's so. like if the 60s and 70s <laughs> had a love child with the 90s. Okay. It's like, yeah. yeah, honestly. It's creamy. Yeah, it's, it's it, very creamy. It is creamy. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> oh. What even? 
Raven is my band. <laughs> <laughs> hey, way to go, brother. So, uh, any interesting stories from... Oh, we well, got some stories. I didn't get a lot of That we can put on All right, so here. Just I'm not going to lie, I don't think right? Anything yeah, yeah, PG. PG, PG story, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to tell the, like the, the studio one, but that, that one's definitely not PG. <laughs> no. Nope. That one was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Uh, yeah, we got some good ones. Uh, one time, uh, let me see. Uh, we're yeah, band camp. Yeah, band camp. <laughs> one time at band camp. Band when, we, camp. when we were we driving. We duct taped Timmy to the wall. And <laughs> oh, let's no. just say that. Don't, don't tell this one. What, not, not the Ryan one where he ran at us? Which one are you thinking? Oh, no, yeah, tell, tell uh, that one. I was thinking a completely different story. Tell, you want to tell that one? Then? No, bro, no. I want to tell him about the one where I shit my pants. <laughs> All right, never mind. Really Tell like the story band. like when we were going <laughs> like bike. So when we were recording the you're, you're whispering bro. with a mic on you. Like, <laughs> no, we, we, were bad when we were recording <laughs> telling he came at us. Oh yeah, okay. okay. Alright. So after all this random shenanigans, this is pretty much what my life is like, you know. Uh, Ryan can give you a little sample of this. We're gonna make him do it in front of all you guys. <laughs> so we had, we had gone to like Murfreesboro and it was like super late. Like we were get, we were getting back. We had just finished recording with Matt Drozd, which is one of my buddies from when I went to MTSU. Awesome studied, producer. Studied, Maccabee. Studied, like music business. He's a great guy. He also has a side project called Maccabee to MC. It's pretty good. You check it out if you if you're into that kind of like you know hip hop, trip hop kind of stuff. He's he's got some cool stuff. Um, so we we were up there and we were recording with him and it was like. It was, we were we were, we had gotten like what we needed. We were really hyped up. We had gotten our fifty nuggies, our hundred nuggies. Hundred nuggies. Correcting 100, 100, 100, 100, myself right there. Four our hundred hundred nuggies. We had crammed the car full of all of us, and we were just driving back. You know, we were like chiefing on cigarettes, drinking like Red Bull and stuff, just trying to stay awake on the way back. <laughs> and we pull over to the scenic overlook because everybody has to take a take a leak. And like while everybody's while everyone's taking a leak, I leave my hazards on to make sure you know we don't get dark. hit. It's like yeah, pitch, it was black. pitch black, pitch black, dark. no street like, lights or anything. So like. We're over here and we're like finishing up. And I was just like, we'll have our. <laughs> they're out. <laughs> like, like I'm our mid, children of the corns. I'm out. midstream. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, full circle. We were so, all midstream. So we're all midstream. And we like, we like, we finish midstreaming and we start walking back towards the car. And Ryan's the last one like streaming. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tell her. Uh, so he, so he like, so he, so he like finishes up and like the lights have this weird kind of like, like. Kind of like strobe effect. Like, it's kind of yeah. like, a strobe, like it's imagine like on, yeah, it's because my like hazards were on, so it's like mm. da 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 da. And while this is all going on, like like we're just like walking back. And I'm like, this looks kind of like scary, man. It'd be kind of weird to imagine something like running at you, and then Ryan just decides to get like on like all fours and does this like terrifying like like <sighs> like like. It's pretty exorcist, amazing, actually. Exorcist kind of like run. And yeah. he just like he just like goes at us, and everybody like all of us started like like without hesitation. No, no, we everyone. Shrieked. We all knew. We all shrieked little like girls. a bunch of little girls. Yeah, yeah like and then both into the car. Into the car, and I was like, ah! And we just like we get into, we get into the car, and I like roll up the window, and he just comes up, and he just like starts like gnarling at the at the window, and I was just like, oh, like I'm oh. not gonna lie, I was like, if he's possessed, we're gonna leave him. We're like, leaving him, bro. I mean, through that. By that by that bridge spirit, dude, it just came out. From oh the yeah, because we had previously scary. been talking about like ghost show stories right. and stuff gotta show yeah. shameless demonstration yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so, so now, meanwhile I, I was i was wearing these boots the we're, on, like, we're on asphalt so there's a little little like click as i'm doing this and uh there there are ways off we got this this strobe effect happening and i just come <laughs> but like but like four times the speed yeah yeah like I was really going, I was fast going at him, really man. fast look i was amped up on nos and siggies man <laughs> yeah it was it was really oh, intense man. Okay. Yeah, so there's a story. Yeah. Drive through therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, check them out on all major outlets. Uh, Facebook, Spotify. Yeah. Instagrams. Hey, shout out to Radio Riot for shouting us out the last uh, yeah. one. Yeah, they're really yeah, yeah, they're yeah, awesome. Yeah, they're check yeah. them out. Shout out to Atomic Moon for having that little show that we played. Yeah. Pretty cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Shout out to Ben Kelly's. <laughs> shout out to, like, to my man Jesus. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to Scott. Thank shout you guys out for to, like, possessed whatever that is. So, I don't like that. I don't like that. Not a bit. Not shout out to the Open Chord for sponsoring them with yes. most of their music equipment today for their yeah uh, all, all, all the songs all you guys will either see before or after the video wherever Vince wants to put it. Yeah. But thank you guys again for watching East Tennessee Music Scene on the rise. We will see you next time. On the rise. Rise. On the rise. 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 One, two, three. <laughs> on the on rise. rise. Thank mm -hmm. you.
dumb, bro. Play the song. 